and we see it when the fight begins. Steel is all fire within. Every jab, every hook, every gun wrist blow. Dances with destiny, a relentless flow. Thanks for tuning in. See Andy back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. On deck. Real good fight weekend. You know, um, Jerron Ennis, we all saw what he did versus Karan. Some say Karen. I like Karen. No disrespect. But um, question for the video. Hit the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. Is Jerron Ennis an elite fighter? I would say yes. I'm just going to um, take it way back. I'm going to say like this. You know, he won the fight. A lot tougher than um, than many expected, probably even himself. But we got to think, you know, um, he's undefeated. And a lot of people label you early, you know, elite, dominant, GOAT, best this, best that. I'm going to say I consider him elite because of his skill. Just look like the natural talent. Look like he just get out of bed with that skill, that swag, the way he moved with the punches. Uh, just not this. This fight did expose some things, and I would say it kind of goes to the um, kind of to the training. I'm not. I'm not singling out his father. Maybe just some things where, you know, um, starting with the defense. When you in that mid range and not, so, sort of like in the pocket, that's the that's the kill zone. And that zone, you know, you, Jerron throws a lot of those single punches, boom, boom. But when they don't land, it's easy to get counted. And he got rocked a couple times in that fight. And I think. Um, I think versus Crawford, boom, he'd have been out of there. You know, that that would have Crawford would have pressed, pressed, and really got him out. Probably tried to probably I would say Crawford probably would stop this version of Jerron inside of seven rounds. I think Spence over the long haul of the fight would would wear Jerron down to the body. And um I think it's the way um a lot of his one thing in this fight, he didn't cut off the ring the way he should. So that's something that his corner, all the trainers, his his whole, you know, team team in they gotta address that. The defense just wasn't on par. And when you get to that that elite, he, I consider him to be elite and, and young, making his way through the division. Not sure if he's going to be 147, but definitely, I think, 154, 160. When he raises in competition, that's when it's time to really be elite. Could be looked at two ways. I think of um, I think of Floyd Mayweather versus Marcos Madonna. Floyd is elite. Some considered the GOAT. But look... I'm not gonna say he struggled, but that was tough. That was tough fights for Floyd. He got the victory both times, but that was real, real tough fights. If that was the first time you saw Floyd fight, you probably wouldn't think that he was one of the best. I think he's one of the best. How he overcame Madonna, and you know styles do make fights. You know you go back and you think of um, Marcos Madonna versus Victor Ortiz. They were dropping each other left and right, boom, boom, boom. I think Madonna won by stoppage. I think it was. Um, Due to that cut, nasty cut, Victor was bleeding a lot. So you would look at that and you wouldn't think that that, that would be the guy that um, Floyd didn't drop Madonna. But Victor Ortiz did. So I would say <clears throat> Styles make fights. And then again, in defense of Jerron, I think, you know, I didn't even watch the first fight. I'm not deep into to, to Jerron like the other fighters I talk about. Been waiting for that big fight, but this is time to talk about it. I think, you know, he had beat him before, and he was like, you know what, this is not the big fight. I think it was mandatory, but this is not the big fight I want. This is something I have to do. I got to fight. You know, um, that's one big thing. A lot of people said he don't have enough fights, but I think he got in there and was like, I'm going to get it done. I don't think he trains like he was fighting in a super elite fighter. I think that Karen, I think he trained like it was the fight of his life. And I think he was ready. You could see adjustments he made, you know, um... Watching highlights, watching people talk about the first fight, it seemed like they said he was on his bicycle a lot. This time he used the ring, but he used it um, very intelligently. Just kind of stepping to the side, using angles, delivering those shots, like I talked about, the kill zone in the mid-range. So I think all those things could be tweaked. You know, um, it might be time for Jerron to start thinking of bringing somebody else into the corner. Maybe somebody that's that's proven, maybe somebody, um, a different perspective, you know. I think his dad probably could be, you know, he got him to a good point, but I think it may be beneficial to have your dad as an assistant coach, fathers. I love to see fathers and sons in sports, boxing, anything, but I think it'd be good to have your dad in the corner, but maybe as an assistant and maybe, you know, talk to Calvin Ford a little bit, talk to his brother, Calvin Ford's brother. I forget his name right now, and I don't, you know, um, slip my, my mind, but, you know, maybe just get a perspective of different things. And I, I think is 
the competition you pick, you know, he wants the big fight. That's the fights he's looking for. But if he doesn't step on the gas and improve, he might not get to those big fights. I think good fights for Jerron right now to sharpen up and test his elite elite levelness. You know, chat with Keith Thurman's people. Um, call up your Danis Ugas. If you can't get those big fights, those are the kind of guys you probably should be sparring. Because just looking at it, you know, it's um, it's hard for me to see him going up to 154 and dominating the likes of like Crawford, you know, Spencer's up there. Even at 160, those guys, Jamel, Jamal, all those guys around 154, 160. It's going to be tough to see him. He needs to dominate. This is the time right now. So as for right now, just hit the comment section. Let me know if you think he's um elite. I still think he is. I think he's elite in the progress, but in progress. But, you know, we so caught on being undefeated. He's still undefeated. You know, he's beaten everybody so far, still looking for the big fights. So I'm not going to say he's not elite. You can be elite and still need improvement. All these guys need improvement. This this can be um, a learning lesson for a lot of people because I can see somebody right now calling out Jerron and banking on this fight saying, I'm going to do this and dominate and then getting dropped by him or maybe even stopped by him. Styles make fights, I say it again. So I would say, you know, right now is the time. I see Ryan Garcia is calling out. He said he would stop Jerron. And it's, I'm not going to say he wouldn't, but... Consistent punches from Ryan Garcia, he, he, he would hurt him. He wouldn't be able to fight that way versus Ryan Garcia. But that would even be a real good fight for him. I think that would be the real good fight. But if Jerron comes in real, real sharp, focused, took a lot of pointers from people, studied his um, studied things that he kind of looked mediocre in on his times, I could see him going in and hurting Ryan. You know, Ryan throws those big punches. Jerron is real good at getting to the inside, Connor and boom. You know, and I think a lot of people underestimate Karen. Dude is much better than we probably thought, and he studied. Like I said, I think he trained like this was the fight of his life, and he came out and showed. So that's why I still give, I salute Jerron and Karen, but I give Jerron his props. He came in, fought a tough fight, and I'm going to say he didn't train as like he was fighting a elite fighter. He beat dude. I'm going to go in there and do it again, on to the bag, on to the big and better fights. He's already talking about those big and better fights. So let's see where it goes from here. Hit the comment section. Let me know if you think. Jerron is still an elite fighter. And if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate everything. And um, thanks for helping the channel grow. Peace. Boxing with CF when the fight begins. Steel is all fire within. Every jab, every hook, every thunderous blow.